hello hello welcome back to another video my name is Gemma and today we're going to be talking about my April TBR how is it April already um so yeah we'll, we'll see how that goes but before we go <laughs> into April let's have a let's have a recap on March shall we and I'm pleased to announce that um it, it follows a very Gemma like pattern. So <laughs> last month, instead of picking from the jar, I did um, Mel's Roll of Reads readathon. So I picked four prompts from her um, like 20 space board thing. Let's begin. Rudy, mate. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, can you not? Right. <laughs> So the first, the first prompt I picked from that, Rudy, you're standing on the microphone. Um, the first that I picked from that was sort of randomly select a book. Uh, and I picked from the Dublin Literary Awards list and I picked The Sleeping Car Porter by Suzette Meyer. Did not get to that, though I did have some comments saying that it's really good on that video. So I'm still hoping to get to it at some point this year, but it did not happen in March. Then there was host favourite. I picked Babel by RF Kwong. Did I read it? No. Then <laughs> uh, the next was middle grade. And I basically said, well, anything off of my middle grade March TBR. So I have started The Trumpeter of Krakow um, by mm, someone Kelly, Eric P. Kelly. Is that the author? Uh, but I'm reading that to Charlie. I would say it's not going great. Um, <laughs> we're about a third of the way through. I might just finish it off myself and read him a different book because I don't think it's really designed for four-year-olds. But I have also started, which wasn't on my um, middle grade March TBR, but is nonetheless a middle grade book, uh, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Uh, and I am over halfway in that. So I might even finish that this month. When does this month end? Sunday. Yeah, I ain't going to finish it this month. Um, but, so I've half read two, so we're going to say that counts as a complete, even though one of them wasn't even on the TBR. And then we had friend pick, and my lovely friend Alice from Alice and the Giant Bookshelf picked me A Flat Place by Noreen Masood, and I have read that, and I will have a solo review coming out for that very, very soon. I'm hoping to film it after I've filmed this video, but we'll see if time allows. Then, other things that I bought on my TBR, there was the TBR spin, and I don't even know if I've got it over here. Wait there. So the TBR spin for March was, I think something like a feel good book. Um, uh, something along those lines. And I picked Dear Mrs. Bird by AJ Pierce. Have I read it? No. I still also have February's pick, which was uh, Pyre by Perumal Marugan. So these two, I still need to get to them. Then there was the Read Good Challenge. I picked The English Patient, which is a book that has been adapted and then nominated for an Oscar. Have I read it? No. Uh, Historiathon. I picked Young Queens um, by, I can't remember. I'll put a picture here. Uh, the one that was on the Women's Prize for Nonfiction Longlist. Did I read it? No. Fierce Reads. <laughs> I picked uh, Matrescence by Katie. What is wrong with my brain today? Why didn't I write these things down? Hmm. I'll put it here. Uh, I'm over halfway in that one. So on the extra things, I've managed half a book. On the actual TBR, I've managed one and a half out of four. So, yeah. Let's move on to April. Excellent, excellent news. Um, so we're going to go back to the jar, the jar of doom. Right, so we're going to pick four, one of each colour out of here. I might need to remove some of the cars and diggers from this first. Okay, we are vehicle free, vehicle free. The lid just came off. Awesome. I'm, I'm living my best life. Right, we'll worry about that later. Okay. <laughs> so, we'll go for ah, this yellow one. Ah! 
Alison would be delighted. The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. I think this is probably one of her most beloved mysteries uh, and will be my fourth Agatha Christie. I don't know what it's about. I guess a guy called Roger who gets murdered is what I'm going to intuit from the title. Uh, so yes, a bit of Agatha Christie, which will be nice because I haven't read any Agatha Christie in about a year. So let's see. Let's go for an orange one. <laughs> okay so Eric a book that was on Eric Carl Anderson's favorite books of the year and you know what this is this is ideal because Eric came up not last month the month before and I got Boulder out from the library I still have it <laughs> out from the library so we'll just put Boulder back on on the list by Eva Balthazar translated by Julia Sanchez uh, and this is about two women in a relationship one wants to have children one doesn't that's all i really know it's super short i don't feel like i want to know any more than that uh, but it got a lot of praise last year from being on the international booker last year so that one is on the list okay what colors have we not had we haven't had a green a green a green a green oh <laughs> a play a play I need to find a play to read. Hmm. I don't think I own any plays. I might go for Hamlet, you know, because I know that Enter Ghost by Isabella Hamard talks about Hamlet. I think it does anyway. And so I think I might get a bit more out of it if I've read Hamlet first. Yeah, we're going to put Hamlet. Hamlet on the, on the TBR. Because, yeah, that's what I really need right now. A bit of Shakespeare in my life. Um, and the last colour is purple. Purple, purple, purple. Okay. A goal book. So a book that is on my goal list. What books were on my goal list? Wait there. So I'm going to pick a nice short one for this. And I'm going to pick from my 24... Classics in Translation for 2024, and I'm going to pick So Long a Letter by Marianne Barr, which was translated by Madupe Bode Thomas. This is non-fiction about a Senegalese woman, I believe. Yes. In the 1970s, who loses her husband, and then this is sort of her meditations on Senegal as a country and um, what it's like for her living there as a widow. So, yeah, I think this sounds amazing really want to get to it so adding that to april then mate just just sit right there that's fine is it all about you is it is it all about you right and then we have uh hot or not so if you're unfamiliar hot or not is a series where i review brand new releases uh once a month and people get a chance to vote and i put the vote up a uh, week or so ago for this month's and the winner by a country mile was Jim by Percival Everett. I'll put the vote here. And that is a retelling of Huckleberry Finn from the perspective of, um, sorry, it's called James from the character of Jim in Huckleberry Finn, uh, which I am currently reading as we discussed earlier because I hadn't read it before. So yes, looking forward to that one. I did also see Brian at Bookish has reviewed this already, so I'll leave his review below. Uh, but I'm really, really keen to get to this one. The premise sounds super interesting, and I'm at a point in Huckleberry Finn now where I'm really intrigued to see whatever it does with it because I think it's got a lot of legs, this concept. Uh, so, yeah, excited for that. The TBR spin will be confirmed at a later date because um, Sarah... From freshly read books and jill from the book billy who run it do the spin on the first of the month so i'm filming this obviously before the end of the month hopefully you're seeing it before the end of the month um and so i don't know what the pick is so i will let you know the read good challenge which is hosted by ben at ben reads good the prompt for april is a book that has won the women's prize and i'm going to go for fugitive pieces by Anne michaels for this, this is one of the earlier books that won. And I'll be honest, I read the synopsis for it, 
when I planned this video about a week ago, now I've kind of forgotten what it was about. Um, I think it might be World War II based. Um, yeah, can't quite remember. Really, you can't eat the carbs, mate. So, yeah, I don't think I've seen anyone talk about that one before, so it'll be interesting to see what it's like. And yeah, that's on the TBR. Next, buddy reads. So, I only have two buddy reads planned for April. Uh, and they are both continuations of series um, with groups of people that I read with quite a lot. So the first is Sabola Burn by James S.A. Corey, which I'm reading my little sci-fi crew, which is uh, Sandy from Miss Reads a lot, Sandy from Miss Reads a lot, Fraser from Fraser Simons, Spring World Thoughts, and Sarah from Freshly Read Books. And it is the fourth in the Expanse series, which is sort of an epic um, sci-fi saga soap opera is that what we call it opera space opera not soap opera that's a different thing space opera <laughs> uh and i am adoring the series so looking forward to getting to the next one and then i am going to be reading red country with alice from alice in the giant bookshelf and jack from Sp B spread book joy <laughs> trying to talk too fast and my mouth doesn't move quite as fast as my brain um and that is the sort of the sixth in the joe abercrombie series Blade Itself series. I don't know if it has a name. I think it does, but I don't know what it is. Uh, and we are loving Joe Abercrombie, but we finished the last one, I think at the beginning of January. So it's been a hot minute since we finished that. So I'm really looking forward to getting back to some Abercrombie because he's amazing. Readathons. <laughs> so uh, there are two readathons that I'm gonna be partaking in, in Rooted on them, please. Oh, you big baby. Um, so there are two readathons I'm taking part in in April. The first of which is People April, which is hosted by the fantastic Roz, Scally Dangling about the books, and Elizabeth at Bogans and Books. You can't see what I can see, but Rudy's just got all his legs like a kimbo in the air. <laughs> He's like rubbing his back on the floor. He wants to play, but now's not the time for play. And Elizabeth from Bocans and Books. Uh, they're both fantastic creators. I will leave them linked below. And basically, all you have to do is read a book about a real person, a non-fiction book about a real person. <laughs> and so for this, I'm just going to add one book to the TBR, though I may well read more. Um, and the book I'm adding is How to Say Babylon by Sophia Sinclair, which has just been shortlisted for the Women's Prize for non-fiction. It's about a young woman uh, growing up in a Rastafarian household um, and the relationship with her father. Uh, so, yes. I don't know if you can hear like the snuffling on the mic, but <laughs> if you can, I apologise. The other readathon that I'm taking part in is Picture This, which is hosted by Shelley Swearingen and Jack at Spread Book Joy. Again, both fabulous booktubers. Well, obviously, I wouldn't be doing these things if I thought... <laughs> Excuse me. If I... <laughs> If I thought that these booktubers uh, were rubbish, I wouldn't do these things, but they are awesome, so I am doing the things. Um, and picture this is a picture book readathon where the lovely Shelley and Jack try and <laughs> encourage us to pick up children's books in April. There are six prompts. Rudy. Thank you. Um, and so I've picked one for each. Uh, they're books that I have not read before. So let's start at the beginning. So the first prompt is Joy. And I've picked uh, Dragon Noodle Party, a story of the Chinese Zodiac uh, by, Z sorry, the Chinese Zodiac Animals by Ying, Compostine and Paula Pang. And I just thought that sounded great. Like a children's book talking about Zodiac animals. I'm in. And I mean the uh chinese new year is a, a big celebration a big joyous event so i thought that fitted quite well then we have nature and i've picked mole in a black and white hole by Teresa sediva uh, because a mole is an animal and animals live in nature oh god i uh yeah i'm really pushing the boat out with these prompts <laughs> 
Then we have Peach. And I've picked Suddenly by Colin McNaughton because it has a peach colour on the cover. Um, oh, it's got pigs in this one, hasn't it? So, I like, pigs are a peachy colour, aren't they? Night <laughs> is the next prompt. And I've picked Burglar Bill by Janet and Alan Allberg. So, this is actually the only one on the list that I have read before. But I haven't read it since I was a kid and I'd really like to read it to um, Charlie. So we're going to do better than bill. Then we have Blue and I've picked Bears Don't Eat Sandwiches by Julie Ful Julie Fulton. Just looked like a lot of fun. And I don't know why anyone would not eat an egg sandwich because they are delicious. And then we have Change and I've picked Bigu by Alex Deacon. It looked pretty good. Um, and again, I read the synopsis for this a week ago and now I've forgotten what it's about. So... I know that when I read the synopsis, I thought it talked about change, but we'll talk about it in my wrap up if I'm wrong. So we've done, I think everything now. We've done buddy reads, we've done readathons, we've done, oh, book clubs. We haven't done book clubs. So the FOMO book club, which is a book club that I run here on BookTube with Alice and the Giant Bookshelf and Jackets for Book Joy, where we read big books that we feel we have missed out on, uh, is reading The Bridge to Terabithia over March and April so we'll be doing a live for that on Jack's channel at the end of April if you are interested in joining us please do we would love to have you and then my work book club is reading Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan uh, I think this is about a woman who goes to Hong Kong yes to teach grammar uh, and then she gets in what may be uh, a, a not great relationship situation uh, this was certainly long listed I don't know if it was shortlisted for the women's prize for fiction a few years ago uh, and I heard lots of good things picked it up at the time and it's sat on my shelf ever since so I'm glad that I'm finally going to be able to get this one off the TBR uh, and yeah looking forward to that and that actually is it that is actually it so I'd love to know <laughs> what oh I say that's it obviously I'll still be reading the women's prize for fiction and non-fiction long lists and maybe some Stella and Carol Shields and International Booker also. We'll see. So if a lot of these books don't get read, that'll be why. Um, I'd love to know what you're planning to read in April. If you're interested in joining the FOMO Book Club, I will leave the video here that talks about the books that we're reading over the course of this year. And I will see you all very soon with another one. Bye, guys.